Badrinath. One of the four sites in India's Chardam pilgrimages is a must visit place not just for darshan but for its scenic beauty. You know the four sites in India's Chardam Badrinath, Rameshwaram, Dwaraka and Puri. Luckily, I had visited Dwaraka long back and this is my second one Badrinath and I'm looking forward to visit the other two dams of Chardam. My unplanned visit left me with a wow factor. I'm not talking about the place alone here. The road trip to reach Badrinath made us feel content with our trip. Let me show you what I mean. We personally felt that we were in Pandora. Seriously. We were mesmerized by the beauty of the nature. Nature is really so mesmerizing, so beautiful. We reached Badrinath a late night and the temple might be closed. It was like 9 p.m. So we rested in our accommodation after freshening up and uh, early in the morning we woke up and we got ready by 7, 7.30 we started visiting temple. Yeah, we started. <laughs> yeah, we went to temple. The place is cold and drizzling when we reached. I like the climate which changed every hour literally every moment from our accommodation the temple is very near it's walkable look at the beautiful mountain and those waterfalls they caught our attention we couldn't take our eyes off from them so we decided to go there after darshan yes but first had to pay our visit to badri narayan so let's move to temple The vendors at the temple guide you what you should offer to Badri Vishal and try to sell prasad. I took Prasad to offer at downstairs but once I neared the temple, other vendors wooed with the well-decorated Prasadam thalis and also persuaded that it's the right way to offer. So finally, for their words and the traditional perspective, I took the Prasad again but I didn't regret it. However, I surprised at the incident that happened after Darshan. Wait for it. There was a heavy rush and you see the queue. It took one hour to have darshan, I guess more than one hour. Meanwhile, we did Pradakshina one after the other to retain our place in the queue and the place is really, really so, so good. The temple, I can't explain in my words, the architecture, you know, everything. It's like completely 
a wow factor and a wow factor so let me tell you the significance of this place badrinath is one of the four dhams it is also one of the 108 divya deshams dedicated to vishnu who is worshipped as badrinath it is open for 6 months every year between end of april and the beginning of november because of extreme weather conditions in the himalayan region the temple is located in garhwal hill tracks in chamoli district along the banks of alkananda river at an elevation of 10279 feet above the sea level the image of the deity worshiped in the temple is a black stone statue of vishnu which is considered to be one of uh, eight swayam vyakt kshetras or self manifested statues the ideal is housed in a gold canopy under a badri tree another important part is the tat kund yes a group of hot sulfur springs just below the temple are considered to be medicinal many pilgrims bathe in the springs before visiting the temple the two water ponds in the temple are called nard kund and surya kund and you know what uh just if you walk towards the kund and cross the kunds you find this alkananda river and the water in the river believe me is like minus degree centigrade my people couldn't stand even for a moment there but i being stubborn i offered my prayers and i wish i stand and even my man stood and he felt numbness literally he felt numbness for just standing for one minute or plus completely that is really really so 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 minus degrees but surprisingly the tap kund have a year round temperature of 55 degrees guys really they are very hot the water is so hot now let me tell you a legend according to the hindu legend god vishnu sat in meditation at this place and was unaware of cold weather lakshmi his consort protected him in the form of badri tree this is be our indian day tree whatever you call it pleased by the devotion of lakshmi vishnu named the place badrika ashram which became badrinath if you look at the place like while you are going to visit the temple from the accommodation we are mesmerized by the waterfalls yes we could able to see waterfalls far away and like as i told you first darshan so after darshan we wanted to go on a trekking and our main aim is to reach the waterfalls so we had been to trekking and we found a way just beside from the temple so guys we started for trekking we are going to trek uh, the mountains here there's a beautiful waterfall and we walked we trekked and finally we reached the place of our destination which we planned to reach and that is another mesmerizing and most thrilling thing we had in our trip yes the waterfalls are really really so so gorgeous i don't know what words i must use to <laughs> talk about its beauty i must say it is elusive i can't say in words And if you ask me how to reach the temple, the temple is reached from Rishikesh, located two ninety-eight kilometers away via Devprayag, Rudraprayag, Karanprayag, Nandaprayag, Joshimath, 
Vishnu Prayag and Dev Darshini. Yes, I have covered all these guys. And what next? If you ask me, after darshan and before you leave the place, do visit Mana, the India's last village, which I already made a video on that. So guys, before signing off, let me give you some important facts which are less known and which are thought provoking. Although Badrinath is located in North India, the head priest or Raval is traditionally a Namduri Brahmin chosen from the South Indian state of Kerala. Yes. Second point. The Nar Prabhat mountain is located opposite to the temple while the Narayan Prabhat is located behind the Nilkanta peak. Third. The springs, as I told, Kund have a year-round temperature of 55 degrees centigrade while outside temperature is below 17 degrees centigrade. The next. The temple is mentioned in ancient religious texts like Vishnu Purana and Skanda Purana. If you are interested and if you want to know anything more, please do comment down below. I'll be happy to answer. See you. Namaste. Jai Badrinath. Jai Bolo. बद्री विशाल की जय